Hello everyone, welcome to the session on thermal analysis of plate. I am Varun and today we would like to do the thermal analysis of a plate being cooled while immersed in an oil bath using LISA 8.0.0. Let's have a look on a problem. A plate of cross section thickness 0.1 meter at an initial temperature of 250 degrees Celsius is suddenly immersed in an oil bath of temperature 50 degrees Celsius. The material has a thermal conductivity of 204 watt per meter per degree centigrade. Heat transfer coefficient of material is 80 watt per meter square per degree centigrade. Density of material is 2707 kg per meter cube and a specific heat of material is 896 joule per kg per degree Celsius. It is required to determine the time taken for this slab to cool to a temperature of 200 degree Celsius using LISA 8.0.0. Let's start on a software. Let's initially fix our kind of analysis by going to the analysis and then edit and changing the default global properties. In this we have 3D. In 3D we have to select the thermal transient. Here you have to define the duration of analysis through hit and trial. Let's initially conduct the analysis for 10 minutes or we can say 600 seconds. And this 600 would enter into the number of time steps. Here you have to enter 600 and one should enter into the time step. As each time step represents one second. Then click on OK. Now let's define a domain. Go to Mesh Creating and Editing Toolbox. There you have a new node tool. Click on it. Then start entering the values into the generated dialog box. First is 0, 0, 0. Click on Add. If you don't see the node, make sure you have activated the Select Node mode in the Selection mode. Add rest of the coordinates 0 0.1, 0 and 0. Add. Then 0 0.1 and 0 0.2, 0. Add. And then 0, 0 0.2, 0. Add. Close. Let's zoom in using the mouse wheel now from the same toolbox select the new element and then select the quad 4 now select the nodes in sequential manner as it is being entered And then close that add element dialog box. Now next in the outline tree is to assign the material. Here go and assign the material. Right click on this. Assign new material. Then click on plate and enter the thickness value arbitrarily except 0. You should enter 1, 2, 3, 4, anything. I am entering 1. Now coming up to the mechanical tab, select the isotropic, enter the density of the material that is 2707. And then finally coming up to the thermal tab. We have a thermal conductivity of 204 
and then specific heat is 896 and then close. Next step after domain specifying is the mesh creation or discretization of domain. For that purpose, we have to go to the mesh tools, then drag over to refine, then click on custom. Here we have to divide the domain into the 32 elements. So we have to enter 4 into the R and 8 into the S and then 0 into the T and then click on apply and then close. Now next step is the boundary conditions and initial conditions specifying. As we know the convective heat transfer takes place along the surface of the entire plate for this FE model this will be the left and the right edges. Initially select the select node into the selection mode and then click and drag the mouse over the nodes of the left edge in order to select them or similarly while not deselecting the left edges just hold the control and click and drag over the mouse over the nodes of the right edges. Now click on activate select faces from selection mode and the element edges are now selected. Now right click on the loads and constraints. Select new convection. Here you have to enter the ambient temperature that is 50, the temperature of an oil and heat transfer coefficient that is 80. Click on OK. Now select the entire mesh. and right click on initial conditions and select new temperature enter 250 now click on ok now the model is ready Now click on solve tool to solve the model. The solution is ready, cross it. In the outline tree, click on the temperature. Now drag the slider to view the temperature changes with the time. Now click on any node to get the temperature at that particular node. Here the temperature at time at time 100 second is 237. We have to attain the temperature of 200 degree Celsius. So we have to move further. We have 208 now. Here we are less than 200. 
so we have to come back here again you have to reselect the node after every time you drag the slider so to refresh the nodal value of temperature to get the refreshed nodal value of temperature here we got This means we get the temperature of 200 degrees Celsius at time approximately 7.33 seconds. Thank you for watching. For more videos, do subscribe my channel, Mackie Insight.